me nothing to come back, Tommy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, yeah, yeah. There's no little children in
That deserves a round of applause. That was good. Is that encouraging? Yeah. It, 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 you know, let me, let me finish. Let me tell you something else. You know, talk about my dad down in the bayou. He, he had you know, 21 kids. He had some, some strange ones in, in, that, in that batch. Uh, and my uncle Milton had to be about the strangest. 21, yeah. He was the baby at 21. One, one daddy and two mamas. Y'all need questions y'all want to have solved tonight? This is a panel that can handle the questions tonight. No, my Uncle Milton, my Uncle Milton was, was really, really strange. He uh, he lived right down by Lafourche, right there by, uh, by, by Cull. And it had a little one-room shed. And it was it kind of leaned, a shack, shack, oh, okay. yeah, a little shack. And it was all tin and a tin roof, and it kind of leaned over the bayou like that. And, and, yeah. and he was proud of that. He, you, you, he was proud of that. Oh, was he proud? Yeah, he, and he, you know, he proudly referred to it as the Milton Hilton. That was his first. Well, uh, my Uncle Milton, he would, he would, um, he had a wash tub to, to go down the body with. Like, like, you know, all these good cages had P-ropes and boats and all. Not my Uncle Milton. He took a wash tub, big old wash tub, and he'd sit his ass in his wash tub and he'd go paddle up and down the body. <laughs> Every Tuesday of his adult life, he went and got a haircut from his friend Eugene. And on his way to get his haircut, he would run his catfish lines. Ritual, every Tuesday, as nutty as he was. I think that's the only way he could tell time. And then he, uh, he would go down the body and he'd pull the lines up and he'd wrap the string around his foot so he wouldn't lose the end of it. And he's pulling it, line up one time, and pulling up and wrapping, wrapping, pulling. Up comes this alligator. A nine foot alligator comes up. <laughs> he screamed. Scared the hell out of that alligator. Alligator took off, pulled it right outside the tub, and there they go. Alligator down the bayou, Uncle Milton right in tow. Soon as he, he's gone. As soon as he gets by his, his friend Eugene's barbershop, he yells out, Hey, Eugene, how many in front of me, man? Eugene, Eugene says, Just two, it's Clarence and Nolly, but they bet that you go catch that alligator before you get to the bridge in Lockport. He said, you got damn right I am. You better start boiling some water, cook some rice, because we're going to have some salt to be cold tonight, man. That's my Uncle Bill. Uh -oh. Ooh, dear Uncle. Um, what, what do we want to do right now? I think you said the, uh, the, the enter vacation. Wait, but, uh, but did I tell you about my vacation? You said vacation? Is that what she said? Something like that. Yeah, Wait, vacation. Yeah, vacation. vacation. These people talk strange. <laughs> No. You want you want this guy back? No. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you. Well, you sell it. Okay, I'll pay you if you take it. <laughs> I don't want it. I look at these nice people out here. I don't think. I don't want it. Man. I don't think so. But let me let me let me let me before we, before we go any further, let me tell you about this vacation. We took, and I'm I'm kind of really a family kind of guy. And, and uh, we were going on vacation, and I love family vacations. I love them. I'm just trying to figure out a way to go on a family vacation and leave the family behind. Because yeah, that would be nice. But recently we took this trip. Yeah. It never worked. It hasn't, it hasn't been working. I wish I'd have thought of that. But we did that back then, but you can't do it enough for all those tests for drugs and stuff. You know, that's not good anyway. But, but we were going to go on vacation, and my wife. Um, she decides she's going to stay home. That's my wife sitting right there. She's watching me. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about my wife. Talk about my wife. I've been in the bar business for over 20 something years, and we've been married 20 something years. 20, 20 something. See, that's city talk. 20 something. 20 something, bud. Something. 20 something. That's, that's KJ. Yeah. We've been married 41 years. This past Monday, 41 years. And in and, and, and this business, people ask me about, you know, they come in and say, man, how do you do this? How do you be, how, how can you do this? To be in this business this long and still married? I said, shit, it's easy. I'm never home. <laughs> she, she never sees me. But it's not that. It's true. No. Yeah, I'm never home. So you can't get. Yeah, 
She says she had to talk to me. Oh, where's your eight box, Jack? Uh, it's a big box. The whole neighborhood needs eight inside my house. I don't understand it. But not that we don't get in arguments, no. Because we, we, we had an argument. Shit, the last time we had, what, about 10 years ago? Yeah, about 10 years ago, man. It, it was 10 years. Oh, that's what I said. Baby, said, look. It's late, and I, I'm really tired, and, and I, how about we set this argument next time I see you? <laughs> we ain't set that goddamn argument yet. Still, it's 10 years. But I was talking about vacation. Let me get back to the vacation. We're going to go to the Smokies, and my wife says, no, she didn't want to go. She's going to stay behind, and we got these two dogs. She's going to stay behind. Stay, stay with my dogs. And so off the Smokies, I went, me and my daughters and my grandkids. So before I left, I, I built one of those doggy doors, you know, dogs can go in at the house. So she been be getting up and letting the dogs in, letting the dogs out. We don't got glasses. You know, well, you don't have doors. Don't have Down the bottom. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Do we have any other questions that we would ask the panel over here? We, no, we get, we put the little doggy door in. We get back from the Smokies. Picture this now. Here's my wife, stuck in the doggy door. <laughs> Her head was on the patio and her ass is in the dining room. <laughs> Fortunately, she's got this great sense of humor, especially the part about my big old child dog. He'd been humping her for nine days. <laughs> Shit, she's lucky. She's lucky. <laughs> she didn't have no puppies. I'm gonna tell you why she had no puppies. But when I was putting the door in, both of the dogs were humping my ass. <laughs> now let me tell you why she didn't have no puppies. My big dog, his name is Luke. This dog is gorgeous. He's a big chow chow dog. His golden color looks like a lion. He's got a head this big on him. And he's just fierce looking dog. But as a puppy, we had him neutered. <laughs> you might think about this. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, but yeah. I think his daddy was neutered. <laughs> I think so. But but now, since he's been neutered, the only thing he does, like with a female dog, when... you know my good friend, this handsome gentleman over here. No, but when, when a female dog just come up to him, Luke, all he does is he just they do do female dog back their ass up to him like dogs do in the heat, and he just smiles and licks his eyebrows. <laughs> That's all he can do. Uh, uh, no. She's gonna, this is a family show. You're not going to... And you had to fish it. This would not be a pretty picture. This is not a pretty picture. We have, more, we have some dancing. We're talking about dancing? No, but I've got a few jokes I want to tell. How about we bring Miss Jody back up again? Woo! 